Anyone visiting Pelican for the first time may be surprised to find this little gem in the middle of a very dry desert. Pelican is surrounded by federal BLM land on the southwest, some state ground on the north and east, and private land on the north and south shores. The BLM has a concrete boat ramp, fishing pier, and primitive campground with toilets on the southwest corner. According to the Division of Wildlife Resources, or DWR, average depth at Pelican is around 8 feet, with a maximum depth of 16 feet. Bullrush, cattail, coontail, pondweed, and water milfoil comprise the majority of fish habitat here. Pelican Lake is a 1,680-acre impoundment with an elevation of 4,779 feet. It's located about 20 miles southwest of Vernal. Take Highway 40 to State Highway 88. Travel south towards Ore for about eight or nine miles. You can't miss it. Additional signs in the area will guide you to the boat ramp. Back in 1954, the DWR stocked Pelican with largemouth bass and bluegill. Since then, Pelican has become one of Utah's most popular warm water fisheries. Historically, Pelican has produced bluegill averaging 8 to 9 inches long with 10 to 12 inch fish being caught regularly. An average angler can come out here and expect to catch from 30 to 50 or more bluegill in a few hours. Favorite lures and baits for bluegill include small plastic or hair jigs, spinners, fly rod poppers, dry flies, nymphs, night crawlers, and some of the new artificial baits like Berkeley's Gulp products. As you can see, Pelican is also home to a sizable population of largemouth bass. Most run from 10 to 15 inches like the ones we're catching today. Occasionally a larger 3 to 5 pounder is caught. Largemouth are commonly caught by those fishing for bluegill, but those who know how to fish for bass can target them and catch large numbers of decent fish. For bass, you can't go wrong with spinner baits, flipping jigs, jerk baits, plastic worms, buzz baits, topwater poppers, wake baits, and crank baits. As you can see, the weed beds are thick and the bass can be found inside the weed edge, along the weed edge, in holes in the weeds, in channels, and out in the open water depending on the season. Today we are fishing the spring pre-spawn spawn time and the bass are up shallow building nests near cover. They're crushing spinner baits, wacky senkos, and drop shot rigs. The day before they were hitting topwater baits. It's best to come prepared for various situations. Pelican Lake is best fished from a float tube or a boat which allows you to probe the best pockets and channels of the extensive weed beds. For shorebound anglers, springtime is the most effective time to fish when weed growth is low and fish are spawning in the shallows.
There are a few things to be aware of when planning a trip out to Pelican Lake. The insect hatches, including midge and mosquitoes, are legendary. If bugs bug you, you may want to avoid the months of June through August. The lake is also known to contain a bacteria which causes a painful, itchy skin irritation called swimmer's itch. It's wise to either stay out of the water or use waders during the warm water period. In a way, this is really nice, since no water skiers will ever likely bother you here. And finally, the Uinta Basin is known for intense wind, and it's a common afternoon occurrence. Strong wind and a shallow lake make for a hazardous combination to be careful of. Be sure you have enough boat for the situation and get off the lake quickly when the wind kicks up. While you're in the area, you could enjoy one of many attractions such as Ore National Wildlife Refuge, which is only a few more miles down the road from Pelican, going south along the Ore uh, Highway. There's also uh, the Utah Fieldhouse of Natural History in Vernal, Fantasy Canyon. That one's a little bit hard to find, but you can type it into a search engine and find directions to it. There's Dinosaur National Monument out uh, further to the east near Jensen. Um, there's the Ashley National Forest and the Uinta Mountain Lakes that are up to the north. And finally there's Flaming Gorge up to the north along Highway 191. Uh, of course it's famous for the trophy lake trout, uh, excellent rainbow and kokanee fishing and also some great smallmouth bass fishing is available there. Also another side trip that's kind of fun while you're there is to take a tour of the dam and uh, as you go down to the base of the dam feed the trophy rainbow and brown trout that are there. trying to get rid of out of this lake. They even, they even interrupt the guy's bluegill fishing, but my god, they really fun. Well, as good as the fishing was today, all is not well with the fishery at Pelican. Over the past several years, several problems have been developing. Water quality has been declining, fish size has been declining. And back in 2008, dam repairs on an upstream reservoir washed thousands of carp into Pelican. The carp population has exploded. Without intervention, the lake will never again produce the quality bass and bluegills anglers have come to expect. As a result, the DWR expects to reset the fishery with Rotenone in 2017 or 18, depending on availability. The lake will immediately be restocked with bluegill, largemouth bass, and channel catfish. Additionally, the DWR will work with other groups to improve water quality, angler access, and improve fish habitat. 
will feed your whole family. Hey, we'll get the flays off this baby and you guys... Good luck! <laughs> Alright, Roger here, your slime. With the help of Utah sportsmen and women, land and water managers, and the DWR, Pretty soon, Pelican will once again be among the best places a bass and bluegill enthusiast could hope to wet a line.